Welcome back to the Bears Den. King Bears in the building, baby. Comedian CJ Trout was in the building, y'all. Yo, what up, Skid of the Chef? All right, what's going on, fellas? Hey, been a nice, nice week, shit. long week, bad week. What's up? It's been a wet week. Yeah, <laughs> right. Fucking nonstop <laughs> rain. Yeah, it's about no to catch question. a cold, real cold. It's the days of, of the flu and common, regular, sick cold coming back, man. No more COVID. Good things don't get sick with the regular, you know, 70 degrees for the first couple of days of the week. Now mm -hmm. we're back to 50. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, man. I almost uh, sacrificed my dogs this week, dog, How? because of the rain. Because, you know, my uh, my kennel and my dog run, um, I got a roof on it. Uh -huh. And um, I had some Mexicans put the roof up for me. So the rain has been coming down and the roof is sagged to the point where there's like freaking swimming pools forming on top of the roof. Yeah, so I happened to go out there, or like uh, two days ago, uh, the wife goes out there, she lets the dogs out into the uh, the run, and she calls back, and she's like, hey, uh, you gotta do something, because the roof is collapsing. I'm like, what you mean? All right, you being a little dramatic. Yo, I go out there, <laughs> and I got the roof set at like eight feet high. Yo, the roof was below my chest, dog. Oh, man. And it was like <laughs> full of water, and my dogs were just kind of, looking up at it like hey what's gonna happen had i went, not went out there i would have drowned all my frenchies dog <laughs> like, oh, oh, put a big dog. So, I mean, that's a mexican mexican made the roof that's yeah. bad quality mexican where where you get these mexicans yeah. Smurf? well you know he did it in the sunshine <laughs> 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 he did it in Sony, 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 get dunwoody and sandy spring mexicans you got, you're getting the wrong mexican import. you got them from home depot right. <laughs> Yeah, and they were literally, <laughs> they, they were the home people by my crib. Oh, so. You got the wrong Mexican. Yeah, you got man. to go and travel outside the city, man. You got to go get your Dunwoody and the motherfucking uh, Sandy Spring motherfuckers. Yeah, beautiful Highway. Beautiful Highway. <laughs> yeah. 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 When that county Mexican. Y'all yeah. got the wrong Mexican. 12-pack of Modelo be your house. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, well, I mean, one thing, I mean, trying to wish nothing bad on them, but, you know, was something was to happen to them. Plenty of Chinese restaurants to buy me. Oh, this. <laughs> And I'm a frequent, I'm a frequent yeah. shopper. <laughs> it needs some dim sum. Yeah. Some right. <laughs> I'm like, is this, is this pimple called yum yum sauce? <laughs> 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 She tastes like hibachi. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, rough so week. <laughs> but what's up, how, How's your week been, dog? It's been a good week, man. You know, we had a lot of stuff going on. You know, mm -hmm. uh, everybody know about uh, BG getting released from prison. You're not talking about cash money, GB, BG, obviously. Yeah, that's the only one I really care about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the only BG I recognize. Whoa. <laughs> Adam Ryan Gumbel, nigga. We're that's talking it. about the hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only BG I so recognize. We're talking about the draft chick, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, yeah, Brittany trying to get out, though. You know, they for them trading her for... Uh, the, I forgot the dude. The arm His name killer. is Victor Bout. Yeah, Victor Bout. You know, this dude is ruthless or whatever. That nigga's name is you Nicholas know. Cage, dog. I saw that. No, movie. that nigga's nickname is Merchant of Death. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a nickname. Yeah, Russia, <laughs> Russia won that trade. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we, we, we got, we got a seventh round pick. <laughs> And you got your boy Waylon that been in there since 2018, you know, some bullshit. Nigga, we traded John Wick for the light-skinned, taller version, I mean, for a taller version of Chris Brown. Nigga, that's yeah, right. Right. Pretty much. Pretty they, much. We gave him the, the best we got. Me, right. <laughs> they about to shoot Juana Man, too. Right. <laughs> Like I said, like I said that, bitch win, that bitch better win every WNBA championship, NBA, a Nobel Peace Prize, a Mark Twain Award, every year for that fucking pick. Bitch, you better make it worth it. Because you touch anything with the name oil in it. Oil change, baby oil, canola oil. You send your ass right back. Take this bitch back. She's ignorant. You don't want to fucking leave oil alone, bitch. Go back. Hey. And they're going to say, we'll take it, but you ain't getting my boy back. Fuck that. We done gave a hell of a pick. You go. Some nigga named Mer the Merchant of Death's nickname. Come on, man. Yeah, dude, you know, he was selling, even though the dude was working for the United States at one point, but, you know, selling He's a warlord. That's what he's supposed yeah. to do. Nigga has no sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's neutral. He's not where the money is. <laughs> Iron monger. <laughs> My man. 
Sell weapons, dog. So, Can't get no better than that. You put that nigga in their hands, though. Yeah. We gave them niggas Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> but they got a different set of skills. <laughs> right. That you use against our ass. Like, thank you, Ukraine. <laughs> Run that back, son. <laughs> hey, we gonna do we gonna do all real quick? That's exactly what's gonna happen. In today's news, <laughs> Ukraine part two. Into a game of twenty one, dog. Run that, Run that, back, Run that shit back, son. <laughs> Winner take out. Hey, your ball. <laughs> we got some shit to talk about real quick. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm glad she got out, but you know, I feel like you know they should have worked out something else. You know, you got like I said, you got Waylon, the, the Marine, who got who got locked up out there in like 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's still over there. They're not giving him up, but you know, you give out the, the God of War <laughs> for a WNBA player. Which, you know, like I said, glassy out, but uh, yeah, that was not a good trade. So do you think it Dennis was Robin? What happened? We didn't get any of Dennis Robin. <laughs> <laughs> we give we give our best negotiator. Are Every time right? shit go happen, we give you wanna go to South Korea with Dennis Robin, I always wanna go there. Well, you know, he tried he to go, to go with him. He, right. They stopped. They him. told him no, give up Dennis Robin. Nigga, we get our best we give you a Samuel Jackson, nigga. Go ahead and go had it, nigga. And then that's it, we good. Yeah. D Rod gonna be over there fucking all types of niggas and bitches. He gonna be good. <laughs> I mean, that, that's about right. <laughs> Speaking of Dennis Robin, why you look all dirty all the damn time? That's, <laughs> like, that's always been the case, though. That's always been the case. He, he, he looked like, that from Detroit days. He, he looked like a successful wide <laughs> <laughs> He went from under the bridge to the penthouse. Like, what the hell? That nigga like he an STD. Uh, fucking what you call Petri dish. He, he looked like he got STDs out yeah, of the fucking world. Yeah, shit. STDs fuck. get That's killed. That's a lot of work. Right? <laughs> 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 you got dead drunk. Urban's be like, what the fuck? I got drunk. <laughs> I got drunk. <laughs> 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 you got the shit is in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, you know, also, you know, uh, I guess the werewolves won. You know, Warnock won. Yeah. Shout, mm-hmm. shout out to... Uh, Warnock. What up, bro? Warnock, they be smooth. smooth. (laughs) (laughs) We ain't got to listen to Herschel Walker no more. Thank Thank you. Is he still in Georgia? Did he go back to Texas, man? Probably went back to Texas. Texas. There's no fucking way he's thinking still here. He was was, was, was probably staying at the Motel 6 somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) He wasn't even a resident, bro. Come on. Off of 75 South. Right. (laughs) He wasn't even in Atlanta. He was probably staying off of what's the uh, exit up here? As soon as you get off of tw- get on twenty, fourth industrial. Yeah, he probably staying over there somewhere. <laughs> the holes. Over there with the holes. With the night walkers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, night walkers. You want to be a werewolf or a vampire? Because I'm gonna hope one of you Excuse bitches me. suck something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. What, what, what was you all went there with? And then you told me about the name hey, of the purple. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, nigga. Yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> that, oh, that was the whole So you don't start that shit like that. But who was I out there with you? <laughs> I don't mean like that. Yo, yo wrong. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try to buy. God damn. <laughs> he said, wait a minute. <laughs> But yeah, it was me and you, dog. <laughs> you was driving by. And you talking about the fucking nigga with the purple, the, the Cat, Williams, Cat Williams looking nigga with the purple uh, Escalade. Escalade, I yeah. I should have to see that oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I couldn't believe this shit. Nigga was really out there. Oh, wow. By the McDonald's. Yeah. And we got stopped by the police. And niggas like, what the fuck you doing over here? And Clint where act like a young nigga. He like, yo, I don't care what goes at you. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like, look, man, just let this motherfucker <laughs> <in>. stop. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that, man. <laughs> what you stop me for, sir? Because I'm, I'm black. Huh? Don't worry about these holes around us, nigga. I'm black, right? I just came to get some McDonald's. Can I get, I can't get a number two? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Or oh, was that one of the nights we was at Babes, though? I've only been to Babes one time. Babes. Shout out to Babes. Yeah. Shout out to Babes. 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 I, I, I wonder that. Say what? I was telling somebody about babes, and I was like, did this shit even survive COVID? I mean, I don't know. I know shit. Riley's gone. Is it? Yeah, Riley's is gone. And... Follies? Huh? Follies is gone. Is it? I don't know if Follies is gone. Everybody's ain't, ain't, ain't around no more. Jazzy T's all the motherfuckers is gone? I don't know about that. 
I'm in the, it's the, I'm in the flames still up. Yo, how did ass and titties not survive COVID? I, I don't understand. They caught it, probably. <laughs> Hey, Good point. <laughs> I don't think. I, I, look, I made it in babes. I don't think they worried about catching COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't talk about yeah, my man. spot. That was my spot. Real, that shit was close to my heart. Hey, because that night, uh, I've only been there once, and I know. That, they spread that, that night, shit wide apart, baby. Yo, you <laughs> saw somebody, grandma in there. Yep. Yeah. Like, That's about was, right. Yeah. She was thick, though. <laughs> that tent is on the table, spread out, and fart in your face. Right out. Right out. Hey, bitch, put, put the gun on the pussy away. I'm going to get out of the way right now. Play my left pepper right now. Come back in five minutes. I'll be good. Shit. Yeah, babes, boy. I feel like Shoot, I got to put a that, body condom on that long. That was like my third favorite. Yeah. My who's, third favorite. What's your other favorite? QC, baby. Queen City? Queen City. <laughs> I saw my first pregnant bitch stripping. I was pregnant. And the bitch had two bullet wounds. I said, don't you think you need to retire? She said, no, I got to work. I got to get mine. I, got... I said, oh, hell no. I was in college with a fake idea. This bitch was five months pregnant. With two bullet wounds, stripping. And I said, bitch, you're not about to have rub your placenta on my knee. Who <laughs> 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 right, right. she <laughs> went? Right. Who she went? Right. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Security. <laughs> she peed on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not about to rub your placenta yeah, look, on my knee. She's going to bend over the baby pop out. Don't forget the tip. <laughs> <laughs> she, she dancing for two niggas. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Pick up in there, DJ. Maybe <laughs> slide out your DJ. <laughs> <laughs> He's selling big CDs and cake Hell yeah. <laughs> so we noticed you ain't getting no lap dance, but I do got some incense. <laughs> <laughs> she was sitting there dancing all his ain't shout. <laughs> I forgot about Queen City. Yeah, man. Yeah, another, sir. Another hood spot. Yes, absolutely. Queen yeah. City. The Claremont, about- Claremont wasn't bad either. I've never been to Claremont, but I have heard stories. Claremont is a it's a different breed, man. You got the <coughs> like they don't even have a DJ. What? They got a jukebox, and the chicks actually got to put quarters in the jukebox and play their songs when they Shut go the fuck up. I heard that's the place where, where yeah. strippers yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that's the place where strippers right. die. Yeah. I've been by it a million serious. times. I used to work up in that, that area, but never went in there, man. Yeah, jukebox. it's a novelty. They redone the whole building and everything. Mm-hmm. Got a bar. They got another place upstairs, but the Claremont. When you go through that door. It's like you walking back in like 1984. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the here's the real test. Are the prices for lab dances in '84? That I'm not sure, but you'll get a good show. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got the chick on there, the chick there that um she smashes uh cans with her titties. What kind and of that's her, that's her she got? What is this? This is the, where they go. The this dictator nigga? What the? It's basically, Claremont Lounge is basically, now it's like, it's where they it's retire. go to retire. We are retired. And they still make it that And it's just a novelty of the city, you know? It's like the Vegas of I've been hearing about it for a long time, yeah. That's it's where the motherfuckers go to die. It's their it's they send off. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't even. Let, let them die on stage right. with honor. Right. <laughs> you do your last round over there, Claremont. <laughs> Man. Hell no. Okay. And then I got a. Uh, there's a tie on this one. Okay. It used to be either body tap or blue flame. Boy, ooh, that's a that's a tough one. That's what I'm saying. Cause didn't body tap had a shower room? Body tap had everything. Like you could stand like a barber shop. shop. Yeah, yeah, they were selling yeah, chicken yeah. wings, selling hey, whole meals, dog. Hey, the lemon pepper wings, though, was nice. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. The City only show. strip club I ever ate in was the tap, dog. Nah, Magic yeah. City got some, some good ass wings, too. See, yeah, they do, you. but... Lil Williams ain't got my ass for nothing, nigga. In the middle of a playoff. <laughs> in the bubble, nigga. I'm trying to tell you. It's a lot of things for this nigga got to go through. Nigga got fined for a 10-piece. <laughs> it's a tick. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just saying nothing to sleep on. Now, you're going to pay $60 before you even you see a pair of titties or the wings at the door. Exactly. And parking, but. And they're they twins. Strokers. Yeah. On the east side. Strokers, absolutely. And Strokers. see, I avoided Strokers. those because I'm like, yo, I'm not paying $600. Yeah, I don't like big name brand. You know, exactly. Yeah. That's like, why I like them old, Atlanta, them old gutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Oh. Pinups was all right. I only been to pinups twice. Second time, got through out. Uh, got oh my well, god. Well, okay. Here we, we go. Got a cousin come visit, right? We go down there. It was, you know, he came up for the weekend. Mm-hmm. We go to the pit ups. Uh, we went in. When I go to strip clubs, I don't, I don't not make any rain. I will sit where the money's falling. Yep, uh, that's me. I don't. I just sit my there. Name. My name. I got. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got that's a really good sound effect. Uh, that's a good word. <laughs> <laughs> I need to 
need a clap for that shit. God damn. I just Shout out for the 2020 strip club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so this chick kept coming by asking me that I want to dance. I want to dance. I told her, no, I'm good. I'm good. So finally she came back by again. She just sat down. All right, no, what she's trying to do. Just trying to talk to get me to get a, get a dance. I told her I wanted one dance, right? She started Ooh. dancing. Uh, she kept dancing. She danced for like 20 minutes. Like she was soaking wet. Like I'm just like, okay, I, that was it. She got done. She was like, oh, that'll be $80. That'll be 60 bucks. And I was like, I got, uh, got the same way at me. Hey, I wasn't oh, even going to say it. I got, got the same Yo, way. But she like, I was like, $80. I was like, I'll tell you one song. She said, mm, nope. she said every time. By the she first said, time. it was like eight songs playing. I was like, I thought you enjoyed your job. No. <laughs> no. I, I said the I same wanted, thing. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted one That hand. is the come up. So. She's sitting there trying to run game on me, talking about, you know, give me my $80. I tell, I tell you what, the lap dance was 10 I give you 15 That's a $5 tip. You take this $15. Nigga negotiate. Take that happy ass on, and we good. Oh, well, I called security. Well, I, I, was like, what, I was like, okay, what they going to do? They're going to make you leave. And then you, I said, then you get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so take this $15 and be happy. Word. So long story short, she went and came and got security, and security made us leave. We're talking, oh, don't come back again. I was like, I mean, this is not the best part. I've been thrown out of better places. <laughs> you know, I was like, come oh. on. I've been thrown out of better places. It's not top of the line, so believe me. <laughs> I got caught the same fucking oh. way in babes. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you start, we're going to do this Lion King style, all right? So we're going to listen to Cliff tell his version of the story, and then I'm going to Timon and Pumbaa what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. All right, go, go ahead. So Creep Game is a, is a chick that was in there that I used to go to school with, college with. Yeah. Had a crush on her. Fine, dark skin chick, blah, 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 bad, right? I'm in, I'm in there with this nigga, and she's like, hey, what's up? I was like, yo, what the fuck you doing here? You know, I got to make one. So she's sitting on my lap, and Michael's like, yo, I ain't never seen a bitch. Stop making her money, come sit with you all night. Like, she's sitting with me all night. Like, for the most part, all night. So she's like, you want to dance? Like, yeah, sure. She give me the dance, blah, blah, blah. I'm chilling, we talking while she's doing the dance. Mind you, DJ still, like you say, going through different songs. I already asked her, what was the dance? How much was the dance? She said, $5, a dance. Easy, lightweight, I got that. Mm -hmm. I could have walked in with these 50. By the time, you know, I was like, all right, we good. You know what I'm saying? You go do whatever. And we holler before I leave. She said, I'd be $25. I said, you only dance one time. What the fuck are we talking about? She said, no. Um, he switched it like five times. They changed out the verses after every verse. And I noticed that nigga really do. We switch out the verse. That's how the shit work. Different song. Bruh. I was hot because now she already dipped into half my bread. <laughs> so now the other chick's like, you ain't going to do nothing? I was like, nah. I ain't, bitch, I only got a couple dollars left. Nah, I'm, you just, I do what y'all do. Make your way around and I come back to Oh, you paid? Yeah. Oh. But I did. We did go on a day after that and her ass did pay for the chips. <laughs> hey, well, hey, I got my hey, buddy hey, back. That's a win-win. Yeah. <laughs> she went to the Waffle House like two days later. She was like, yeah, no, I'm just like... All right, now here's the Timon and Pumbaa view right here, dog. <laughs> so we get up in babes, right? And, uh, you know, we're watching and we're looking at all the, you know, all the pieces that's out there. And then, like, I'm sitting on one side and Cliff's sitting on the, in a chair next to me on the on the right side. Uh, he hits me on the side. He's like, yo, I know that bitch. And I was like, you know who? He said, like, I know that bitch. I went to school with her. And I was like, what is this, Players Club? What you mean? You <laughs> he said, no, I'm telling you, I went to school with that bitch. I was like, all right, bro, whatever. He said, yo, I'm showing you. So Cliff gets up, and he goes over to her, and then they start talking, and then they hug, and then they come back my way. And then that's when, you know, she they start talking, and, and she's kind of sitting around us and all that, and she's, like, doing little, little, little dances and stuff. No big deal. Then she asked this nigga, she's like, hey, why don't you come get a dance? And he goes, yo, all right, cool. So they get up and leave. They weren't dancing by me. She took him somewhere else because I thought he went to like the champagne room or something. Yeah. I was like, oh, he going to get service, dog. It's going to be over. <laughs> so he's going, and like he said, he was going for a minute. Like I'm sitting there. You know time has passed when you can always judge your time in a strip club. Where if you're one of them cats like me where you're not paying none of the strippers out there mm. and they all come by, hey, you want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? You, you want to dance? Whole and the whole staff. <laughs> nah, maybe later, maybe later, maybe. Right. Now, once once you notice that they all walk by and they don't say nothing to you no more, you done seen the whole staff. You've been there for a minute. And they went back and said, yo, that broke the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm like, yo, I got 20 20 vision. Yeah, right? <laughs> if, if you butt naked six feet away, I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Let that nigga throw on the butt. <laughs> yeah, right? You don't need no What's cold up? <laughs> For real. <laughs> you don't need no cold, sweaty pussy on me, dog. I'm good. So, after he's gone for a while, there's no more chicks coming by me. They, they found all the big ballers all around the area. <laughs> this nigga comes back and he's like, yo. You got any extra cash on you? And I was like, extra cash? For what? He said, yo, this bitch hit me for all this money for all these dances. I was like, it wasn't free? And he was like, nah, man, she got me. She got me. She said, yo, I danced like six, seven, eight songs or something. Oh, shit. And I was like, <laughs> I was like and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, six or seven or eight songs ain't played yet. And he was like, nah, man, they switched it up. They switched it up after the first, yo, so I got to get cash. And I was like, yo, you know, I didn't come with no cash. <laughs> My brother had to go to the ATM. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had to go to the ATM and get that cash. And like then, I said, I got yeah, but she was bad, though. Yeah. She was bad. Well, at least she it was, was worth bad. it, I guess. I mean, yeah, I was like, well, shit, I could have got your ass back in school if you was doing like that. That's what I was like. She said, no, I don't say it like that. Like, no, bitch, you know. <laughs> you take care of these hash browns, right? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me, goddamn you go yeah, owe me this least, old... Did you at least get a smaller <laughs> covered chunk of dice? <laughs> I'll try to smother dice her ass. <laughs> like, I know you ain't about to shit. fight. <laughs> I know you ain't about to act brand new. I know what you do. <laughs> you about to we respect, know. Respect <laughs> I know we we'll see you next time. Right. <laughs> Word, after that. Right. Yo, where do we go from here? Right. Right. You coming to my room or am I going to yours? Right. Just, right. We halfway there now. Yo. <laughs> so yeah, after that, I was like, yeah, the strip club shit ain't my thing. Yeah, it's, it's you know. It's... I ain't about to work 40, 60, 50 hours for you to take more of my shit in five minutes. Word. Yeah. It ain't my thing. It, it's a novelty thing. You know, it just. Oh, no, for me, I guess the times that I would go. I think what changed my mind is I went one time and I was sober. Mm. That's depressing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's <laughs> depressing, man. I got to laugh because I'm only with <laughs> sober. You know, um, for me, you just notice you notice little things and stuff. Yeah. Just be like, yeah. she don't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> they never know. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't see the attitude yeah, when you're just, sober. Yeah, they dance like, like, this is definitely for necessity. It made me, wanna, made me feel like I want to pass out therapy call. Right. Like, well, this number. Right. <laughs> Cole can't do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Give me your mercy. Mercy end of your table day. Right, right, right. Here you go. Just take the fight out. You good. Let's go. You good. That's exactly why our prince used to go on strip clubs and take bitches home. This, what, how much you made this shit? Just go ahead and go home. <laughs> AMC State was notorious for that shit. Niggas hey. would be banned from strip clubs in Minneapolis or Minnesota or whatever. Because he would go there and be like, how much you don't want to make a night? I'm, I'm paying y'all to, to go home. And yeah. niggas like, bitch, now, Prince, what the fuck we do now, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Bitches home. Just listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, play basketball, make pancakes, nigga. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> 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 you know, I got a new version of Doug's Cry. Well, here we go. <laughs> My head go. <laughs> My here goes. I was waiting for the stage, but clear the stage. Do it, sound party. At least they, at least they get, you know, they get fully naked here because back home it's just topless, and that, yes. that right there is just like that's even more depressing. That's like, oh no, it's like going to. Six flags, but you're not tall enough to ride the ride. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I'm just going to just stand here. Yeah. You had to get to the uh, military towns, man. Because they, they had no problem showing everything. Yeah. And then two weeks later, losing liquor licenses and yeah. losing permits and everything else. Yeah, I mean, there was, they underground, go there was underground spots you could yeah. go to. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was, I ain't going to say they were nice, but there was underground spots you could go to, but. You know, you want to make sure when you went there, you, you had to be strapped going up in there because mm. they were in neighborhoods. Like it was one that was in Raleigh. Uh, it was in a neighborhood across from a junkyard. Mm. The strip club was in a house. The house next door to it, they were selling fish sandwiches on the porch. <laughs> and it was. It's yeah. not like, I'm <laughs> telling you, swear it's it's just, not like. it is literally. You come down this dark ass street, and like all these rundown houses, and you park. And you walk in, and you got people out there with they got these big ass like they ain't even real deep fryers. It's like they got mm. fire under a drum and they deep frying <laughs> fish and chicken. And then you like, where the hell we going? You go into this house and they open up the door and it's like it's like a stripper trap house, basically. <laughs> what yeah. looked like the inside of it, you know? 
And that spot, oh my gosh, I tell you, as soon as you walk in the door, they own you hard. Because it was, you know, it was an underground club. So it, it was a crazy, crazy spot, but it was not the safest spot to go to. Because I've been yeah. to Raleigh, I know exactly what the fuck you're Hey, you <laughs> hey, you yeah. Raleigh, uh, yeah. you ride around, yeah. slide through Durham, and next thing you know, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. This ain't UNC or Duke. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Where did I turn? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I I got a co-sign on that because when I spent time in in Jacksonville, Jacksonville, North Carolina, yo, it'd be just like that. You go you go down a long street where the all of a sudden the lights start going out, and then it's just houses, yeah. and then there's a field, and then maybe one or two houses, and then all of a sudden there was a a a, a mobile home, just. No driveway, no nothing, just grass. A mobile home, a bunch of cars sitting outside of it, and you could see lights in the windows. They'd be like, what the fuck is yeah. this? They'd be like, no, I'm telling you, this is the spot. Open up that creaky door, music's blasting, you can't see nothing. <laughs> and then there's curtains on each side <laughs> of the door. Like, what? Hey, man. <laughs> if somebody try to take my kidneys, I'll be like, this whole right. mobile home. No. Right. And you go past the curtains, and they they just on you. As soon as they see it open, boy, like vampires on fresh meat, boy, jumping. Yeah, they yeah, coming at you, boy. It's, boy, stop. It's God, good, shout good, out good to time. North Carolina. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Kakalaka. <laughs> the click. <laughs> Word, man. Word. Yeah, man. I'm a... Uh... I'm talking my shit about uh, your man Bill Cosby got five more charges. Five up. more? From man, the, what you talking about, man? Yeah, that's from five more bitches came out of there from the 80s and 90s saying it, that nigga touched me too. I said, I where thought we finished the Me uh, Too movement. I no? said, no? Where, where the fuck was y'all at when they got indicted? You wait till they get home, <laughs> eat a pork chop sandwich, and I said, you know what? He touched me too. Like, five more now? Five more now. Just Come on. Wow. It. Like, just leave a nigga alone. At this point, just, you gotta sit with it. I hate to say it. You, just gotta Word, you, you missed the boat, man. You missed the whole civil <laughs> The gravy suit. train is over with, man. Let Stop it. You know he live. broke now. Nah, he, not Heathcliff. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Not Mr. Bro, ain't ain't yeah, your wife a lawyer still? You're right. What? <laughs> that, that nigga live. I ain't married to Claire. I'm married to Camille, nigga. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Leave me alone. I got no more fucking residual checks coming in. Five more people. Like, what were they doing? <laughs> when everybody else was going in on them. Obviously. Like, Yo, they were playing Life Double Dutch. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, yeah. right. All right, not yet. Not yet. Right. <laughs> we're going to wait for our turn. This is our round. Come on, bitches. Let's go. It's our turn. We're going to get the second round. The second round. <laughs> I'm like, Your Honor, look. Come on. I saw it. Come on. I don't even need to judge uh, my lawyer for this. Come on. <laughs> Five now? <laughs> I already did my time. Good talk. Lord. You know, unmetoo that ass. Well, like, you know what that means? What? Deshaun Watson gonna try to catch him, though. Hey, <laughs> Deshaun be like, "Oh, he got five more. All right, I gotta be like my mentor." Yeah, he better not say no words that sound like massage. <laughs> <laughs> not even message. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even use words that start with M. <laughs> you, say, you send me a text written note. <laughs> Niggas waiting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, that's, that's, that's Deshaun Watson. I mean, I wonder how he would be in the mall. You know, the, the Asian people just got to sit in the chairs. <laughs> Can you oh, imagine? Oh, in the mall, nigga, yeah. nigga, bro. And they're going to have a happy ending. They're like, nigga, what is all the skeet on the car? <laughs> he the only brother I know would turn around and lean back in the chair like this in front. <laughs> I got, I got pain in my clavicles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from sexual harassment. You skeeted on my goddamn jeans. <laughs> All about the Levi's. Well, at least if you get on your shoes, just go right around the corner and do the clean the boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Sean Watson was here again. I told this nigga stop coming to the ball. Just take a towel. Wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That nigga stayed doing that shit. Hey, sir, let me holler. Let me wipe your sneakers real quick. Let me get my shit. It's fine. Let me wipe it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you got some slick, sticky stuff on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Turn your <Yeah>. blue. <laughs> <laughs> you got like chemical reactions. <laughs> it only does that for urine and semen. <laughs> 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 Who you niggas been hanging around? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still coughing. I'm trying to get over it, so I apologize now. 
Oh man. And then uh, you got a fucking Walmart say they might close because niggas can't stop robbing from their ass. They ain't close. They, 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 three, they, they billion, three billion a year from niggas robbing their asses and stealing from them. I'm like, that niggas just regularized now? That niggas hey. been stealing from you? Yo, yeah, that's, that's, that's that self-service yeah. shit has been easily an HOV lane for niggas for all these years. Hey, we roll, hey, look. Y'all rolling back prices? So am I. <laughs> rolling back this fucking empty ass cart. Word. Only 30% of the shit I actually fucking paid for. Word. So, I'm like, man, go ahead. I mean, if they close, I, mean, I don't even shop at Walmart like that. Like, you got to twist my arm. I got to absolutely need this shit. It's hell going. You can't, you Walmart, can't. you cannot literally say, hey, I'm running to Walmart real, real quick. That makes no, no sense because you can right. never go in there real quick. For one, even if you go to get one thing, and if you park by the right door, guarantee you got a 20 minute walk to get to the shit once you get to the That's, door. <laughs> then they're going to have one rest to open. Yeah. So yeah. Don't ever go there. Nobody want to help you. Oh, but all the registers open when you want to do your own shit. Yeah, <laughs> you want to work for Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they close, they close. Because if you think about it, I mean, just historically speaking, before Walmart, Walmart was the downfall of the mom and pop shops, the stores of, of cities and those small towns. When they started building the WalMarts, nah, it was Kmart and, first. Uh, I wouldn't say Kmart. Kmart was Kmart. Walmart. Walmart took Kmart out. Walmart did take Kmart out, but Kmart came way before Walmart, though. Yeah, but Kmart was just doing stuff that's regular they wasn't, stuff. They wasn't like Walmart came with the groceries. Time, like, Yo, it had the, it had the footprint that Walmart has. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, Sam then, Walton was a, a brilliant man, man. And then, you know, here come fucking Amazon, squashing everybody. Destroyed. Yeah. Sears, everybody. Macy's is being closed, certain places, all that shit. You know what makes me mad about that? Um... When Walmart hired uh, their, their, not the CEO now, but it was a female CEO, um, because Walmart was starting to tank for a bit. They hired her and she had a brilliant idea. Like she literally would have saved Walmart and probably would have took Amazon completely out. And what she was saying was, we have this giant footprint around the US. She said, every Walmart is strategically set up so that in every uh, medium to large city, there's a Walmart within 20 miles of everybody within those cities. Mm -hmm. And that's basically how Walmart's uh, spread out and all that stuff. So what she was saying was, what we need to do is basically move the warehouse door from the back of the store to the very front and basically make Walmarts like individual Amazon joints. So you go online, you order up your stuff, then then you do that whole, you drive up and come get your stuff. That's how I do with Walmart right. now. Yeah. Well, she was saying cut out the whole section where people actually come in there to come get their stuff. Right. Just make the entire store a warehouse. Mm -hmm. So you order everything you need, mm -hmm. um, drive up, and they literally take the shopping carts out, put your stuff in the back, yeah. you pay, and then you're over and you're done with it. The board at Walmart was like, nah, we can't do that. We make, some stores make a million, million and a half a day with people coming in. And this was like, right, this was maybe a year and a half, two years before COVID. Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, I'm telling you, if we do this, we can actually compete with Amazon instead of getting crushed by it. Right. Because Amazon was still trying to figure out how they were gonna go from two day delivery, you know, Same trying to day. get it lower and lower and lower and lower. Walmart was like, yo, you come, you're come, you coming to the store anyway. Now we can just bring your stuff out to you. Yeah. And you don't have to wait days for something to get to your town because there's literally Walmarts in everybody's town. Facts. So even if you want to use the delivery side, they could deploy their delivery people to drive your groceries right to your house. Right. And it'd be basically the same as you driving, just you don't have to go anywhere. Right. And they shut it down. They were like, nope, can't do that. And the only thing they allowed her to do was the, you know, the the, the hands-free pickup thing. I, I and that was when COVID. Yeah, I did the pickup yeah. shit. That's about it. I don't want to do that no more like that. I remember when they were testing, I don't know if they did it down here, but I was still in North Carolina, and they were testing out the, uh, the scanners. Where you, like, you, you go in, right, and each cart had a scanner on it. Okay. And you put your bags in your car, you can scan everything you need, and then you swipe your card right there and there on Apple Pay, and then you just walk right out of the store. Yeah, they because they were testing it out at one of the stores. Uh, I think Whole Foods was doing something like that, one and, of those uh, stores like that. I don't know what came about came about that because I think that's that's 
You trust the people to scan it. That's what I'm saying. It's too easy to not scan. Niggas, you can't put that in the hood. <laughs> and look, because we, we all know every Walmart does not have security. This scan is broke. It ain't scanning nothing. Okay, I guess it's mine. Hey, it's got that old nigga. Black screen TV be 69 cents. That's <laughs> HD. That's. <laughs> and you know them old people, when they look at your receipt, they don't really be looking at it. They ain't there to stop nobody anyway. They just giving them some okay. food. <laughs> marker with a yellow marker and keep going. Mm -hmm. all, you gotta, all you gotta do is make it through the door. You're home free because they can't chase you outside the door. That's uh, insurance yeah. purposes. Yeah, yeah, they can't. That's why they said it was a video of the niggas yeah. grabbing shit and literally run out the door and they couldn't chase it. Even my mm -hmm. brother, when he worked at he worked at Rite Aid, he said the same thing. They can't stop niggas now. After COVID, niggas understand. Niggas walk in, grab shit, and keep pushing. Yeah. Matter of fact, it was a video in an Apple store. Niggas is walking in, literally grabbing shit and Apple. And the Apple people is holding people back, like, just let them get whatever they want. Yeah. Niggas are snatching iPads, iPhones right out the fucking walls and walking outside the door. There was a guy a couple weeks ago. Um, they were talking about him on the news. I forgot where he worked at. A dude came in and was stealing stuff. And he went outside, tackled the guy. The cops came and everything. And they're like, oh, yeah, you violated the store policy. <laughs> he got fired. <laughs> like, wow. they let him go. You get fired for that. You can't go. If they're in the store, mm -hmm. you're good. But if they go, as soon as they go through them doors, you can't. can't There's nothing them. you can do. Yeah. You can actually go out there and let's say if the dude was smart enough and he got away. Let's say the dude tackled him and, and he got away. Mm -hmm. He can actually sue them. Because he got hurt yeah. <laughs> when they were trying to stop his ass. Like <laughs> <sighs> the world we live in, man. Got to know how to play the system, I guess. Yes, indeed. Yes, you do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that that also reminded me. Um, I'm a protected guilty in this, but um, you know, way back in the days when Craigslist was real hot, you know, shout out to Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Craigslist but, um, was shit back in the day. So I remember uh, this. I think uh, this had to be about 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. something like that, because my kid was a kid, and um, I was looking for, you know, like Christmas gifts and stuff on the low, yeah. and I saw this ad where this dude was like, yo, $100, you can get anything you want. All right, hold <laughs> on, let me go holler at this dude, <laughs> wait a minute, what are we talking about? So, you know, um, I called him up, made contact, then I went to go check him out. And my man had a garage full, I mean, literally full of big white bags full of toys, electronics, everything. Yeah. And I was like, nah, <laughs> no. some of this stuff might have tips in it. You ain't about to give me a dub. And he told me, he was like, nah, nah, nah. My brother got the hookup at Walmart. And I'm like, the hookup at Walmart? He said, yeah. He said, all this is mine. I I'm not selling or I'm not giving you none of this. What happens is, you give me the hundred, right? And then I call my brother and then all three of us go to Walmart and he's security at Walmart. And what, what we'll do is we'll go in and you get one full shopping cart for a hundred dollars. You fill it up to the most that you want to fill it up for. Once you finish filling it up, he's going to take your cart and walk right out the back door with it. Then you oh. just load it in your car. I was like, Nah, man, you gotta be. He said, I I'm turning. What's it for them? Huh? The $100. They just get the $100. Uh, that shit crazy. That shit It was insane. Right. And I was like, mm, I can't be going to jail over no no nerf Boys. blasters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you no waiting here for? Trucks. Right. Nerf blasters. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, fellas. <laughs> Bend over, nigga. <laughs> Touch your toes, nigga. <laughs> this shit ain't gonna be soft tip either. <laughs> I think you like the soft tip to the face, like, but this ain't gonna be soft tip, nigga. You like nerve blasts. <laughs> <laughs> super soft. <laughs> so, yeah, long story short, I didn't do it, but um, yeah, they they was out there doing it, and they were literally like like you guys were saying, they walk out the front door with it, yeah. and it was the employees doing it. So, I don't know how you expect to stop something from happening when it's not just the customers that are doing it. Yeah. Like your own employees are robbing you blind. Hey, I, mean, the pop -pop yeah. I mean, I know when I worked in high school when I worked at Sears, I mean uh, I was I was employee. Yeah. <laughs> I worked I worked in the kids section. Yeah, and you can tell on yourself because Sears is gone. Right. Yeah, Sears is gone. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Statue of limitations <laughs> fast. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Miss Cheryl Johnson for <laughs> 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 
Ooh. I shot Michelle for me to plug. It's <laughs> actually, uh, I worked in the kids section, and that's when uh, Sears actually sold like electronics. They sold like mm -hmm. video game systems and stuff, right? So, if you work, if you ever worked in the mall, you know you get to meet, you get to know the people in the mall, and whatever. Everybody hooking each other up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, uh, the guy this is dating me real bad. The arcade, the dude that ran the arcade. Wow. Now, I gave him a hookup <laughs> yes. on the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah. Dreamcast. Just continue. Dreamcast. <laughs> that one. That was the greatest game Sega yeah. ever made, dog. And yeah, I gave him a hookup on that. Uh, a real good hookup, because when he paid for it, I kept the cash. Uh, but in return, I got a key to the uh, arcade. The key that opens up the door. Mm -hmm. Like I was in the video games back then, so everybody was. I go. I'm on my break. I go in there. Like I wait my turn. I think it was like Tekken Four was out at the time, <laughs> and I get ready to go up. Get ready to play somebody. Uh, step back one second. I turn that key. Open that door. Give myself about ten credits. Close the door. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I just think I had to go oh, real. Yeah. Amazing street fight chicks. Oh, this nigga is gone. That shit was street fighter. I was a street fighter junkie. I was in the arcade like, yo, run them quarters, nigga. Yeah. Like, the street fighter shit going. And Mortal Kombat, that was it. Yeah, that was that was NBA Jams. Hell, hell yeah. Gone. Like NBA in, boy. Jams. Jams. Hell yeah. Used to run He's people off the sticks on NBA. Yo, run them off the sticks. My shit was so. running gun. I don't know if you did the basketball Yeah, game. I'm running gun. Yeah. Man, I just killed it. I never played it in the uh, arcade, Man. but I killed it on Nintendo, dog. Yeah, running gun. Killed it. Shit. Do that that long fade three point at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, that's why I first started playing double dribbles in the arcade. Oh, 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 boy. oh, oh, oh. that damn double yep, dribble. Yep. <laughs> 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 right, six dunks. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's it. Like, nigga, you got dunked on. This shit be all in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, see. <laughs> Whole game punch bars out. away for the double. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Punch out all that shit, man. Yeah, yeah man. I was a Tecmo Bowl dude, so. Tecmo Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which brings us full circle because me and Herschel Walker was killing my. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't stop Herschel Walker, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's retarded then. Yeah, yeah, that's why he retarded. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah, was throwing fine. people off of dog. He yeah. just run through blocks. He talked like he had three strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Drummond ass nigga. <laughs> Different strokes looking at him. <laughs> I really didn't think about it. I think I stole a lot of stuff from all, a lot of my jobs. God, <laughs> no joke. I'm gonna tell you. All right, look. <laughs> I just thought about it. <laughs> I was working the first job. I was going to have inventory now. I think it's going to be like, oh, fuck on, yo. yo. This is the dope set. I'm going to put a disclaimer. I'm going to get a fucking season to see you, man. I've got notes before. <laughs> Couple niggas. Oh, yeah, like, everybody in the job signed the NDA. <laughs> <laughs> working at Burger King, man. And it was uh, the Burger King I worked at. And whenever we had like a bad storm or something, the power would go out. Mm -hmm. And I remember a couple of times the power went out and uh, I didn't live too far from, from the Burger King I was working at. I would call my mom and sister, hey, come up here and come through drive through <laughs> I was like, the power's out. We got so groceries. The first time, you know, I'm put just I'm just throwing whoppers in the bag or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. I have to drive through window, they go. So I got a little bit bolder as it went on. The next time it happened, bruh, I said, I took, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I got a case of waffles, the burgers, frozen. This is a bag of patties, dog. Damn, nigga took the crabby patties? Took the patties? Nigga took the secret. Yo, I got a case of waffles. A couple packs of buds, put them in the bag, right out the window. He said, uh. He said, yeah, Frankie Beverly and Maze coming through the mall, dog. And we had this one manager that put me on drive through, right? We had this one manager, and, uh. Him and this other girl that was working there, I always knew that she would always work like Friday or Saturday nights, the business nights, right? She always worked drive through And I kind of picked up, I knew something shady was going on. And uh, one night she couldn't come in. He was pissed off or whatever. And he, had, he asked him, he was like, you, 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 do you know how to count change back? Like, change yeah, back. I can count. Like, I can count change back. I'm going to put you on drive through So he put me on drive through So basically what happened was when people would come in, 
come to drive through, <clears throat> excuse me, they place their order, I wouldn't ring it in. Because mm -hmm. just from working, because I worked at register a lot, you remember how right. much stuff costs. Mm -hmm. So I would tell him, because we had a little earpiece, I would tell him, this is what I need. So he would bring the food over to me. We're not ringing nothing in. They give me the money. I count the change back to him. Put the money that they give me up under the drawer. So we was doing this. Like, I'm walking out $70, $80 sometimes, $100 here, just killing them on drive through mm -hmm. So this one particular day I go into work, and the GM was there. They were doing our inventory. And they were kept trying to figure out why the numbers mm -hmm. are so much. Right. Mm -hmm. And I told dude. We can't do this no more. Like, numbers is off. You know, we, you know, got to shut it down. Come on, man. We can just keep on doing it. So I did it two more times. I ended up quitting. <laughs> <laughs> two more times. And I we can't quit. do it no more. So I did it two, two more times. times. <laughs> I went to the well <laughs> two more times. Because, <laughs> man, you know, it was him. I'm doing what my supervisor was telling me to do. Right. Mm -hmm. I was getting my money on the back end. Right. Mm -hmm. If all else uh, fails. But long story short, dude ended up, he ended up getting fired. And he actually started working, I want to say it was Chick-fil-A or somewhere. On oh, he side probably of guy's house. And <laughs> like guy's chicken. This dude ran off with the bank deposit. Oh. Yeah. And he oh, get a lot of man. money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, he was, he was a bum. I, I used to sell him weed, too. But he was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. I'm trying to think what other job. <laughs> Yo, I got one for that one, too. Because, um, you know, in my youth, I worked at Hardee's. And it was almost the same situation. That's why I was like, when you were telling me about the count pack, I was like, oh, yeah. I, know. <laughs> I already know where he's going with it. Because, um, you know, I did it a little similar, except I didn't have to tell the guy in the headphones. Because, you know, once somebody comes in to drive you through and they order their food, yeah. you know, and they order it, you can hear it in the back. And, you know, and I'm hearing it, too. And what you're supposed to do as soon as you hear it, you put it in the system. Uh, so once it's in the system, it hits inventory and everything else. The person would tell me what they wanted, and then once they came up to the uh, to the drive through window, I would give them their drink, and I'd move them up. Yeah. I'm like, all right, uh, can you move up, and we'll bring out your food to you. And i literally just sit there and drive through. If there was nobody else in the line, I'd be like, hmm. i wait about a minute or two, and then i go yell in the, in the back line uh, cubby. I'm like, yo, they're waiting for that Hardy's burger and the, uh, and the chicken sandwich. And he'd be like, yeah, I don't see nothing on the board. I was like, I put it there. I don't know. Did you delete it already? Damn, man, I must have. So he goes scrambling. They go, <laughs> I put it in the bag. And I run that shit outside. Money already in the pocket. <laughs> right. But in my defense, I was only getting paid four twenty five an hour. <laughs> so, and, <laughs> and I was working like a slave dog back in those days. Man. So, yeah. $425 an hour after taxes. If you do that for a month straight, it's enough to buy a $179 Nautica suit with socks. <laughs> <laughs> one suit, <laughs> one Nautica <laughs> jogging suit. It's enough for socks. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, some had to give. Now, I ended up quitting because I got my hand burnt. Um, you know, yeah. fucking with a, a bun toast at Hardee's. Yeah, I'll do it. You know, Hardee's, Hardee's is like a fucking restaurant, man. Hardee's, at least Hardee's in my day, they made every fucking thing. They used to back in the day. Every right? Biscuits and all that shit. Biscuits, chicken, burgers. We we made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We made lobster rolls. Uh, all the salads. Caesar salads and fucking garden salads. All that shit. Roast beef sandwiches. Which, to this day, I won't eat roast beef ever again because, you know, I smuggled like nine roast beef sandwiches out the back door so I could eat later. Damn, and <laughs> For yourself? Yeah. Shit. That, that same night? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> this, is, this is over the course of the night. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. But, I am about to say, yeah. sit down on the same yo, night. <laughs> yo, before that, I had never thrown up in my life. You know, I never drank, I never smoked. It's just not my thing. Yeah. So, you know, my body never had a reason to do those type of things. Right. So, I call myself uh, being slick. And, you know, I would do like you, maybe not with the hamburger patties, but, you know, the, the $3 cookies that Hardy's used to sell, the right. big chocolate chip ones. Right. Oh, yeah, a box is going with me. Right. That's a 48 count. Right. <laughs> Put that in the back. <laughs> right. When I take out the trash, I'll get that later. Right. Right. But, um, so... You know, and when I worked backline, 
I would always like we'd have like an hour before closing, so I'd stuff the box. I'm, everything I want, the uh, chicken sandwiches with cheese and lettuce and tomato. Yo, we need seven of those in the box. We need roast beef sandwiches in the box. And then when you get ready to close, the manager's like, "What is all this food doing in here?" They're like, I, I was just making it. Oh yep. man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, throw this away? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, take all this food and throw it away. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Just, I got you. McDonald's. They, they throw. I say, yo, it's homeless nigga outside. Exactly. You can't give it to him. Got throw it away. Say less. I'm making <laughs> extra I'm Big Macs. I'm Big Macs have four patties on exactly. it. Exactly. I'm, I'm taking a hundred count piece of chicken nuggets. I'm right. on the damn train in New York City when niggas like. Yo, man, you got anything for me? I ain't got shit. <laughs> no. Man, I can smell it through your bag. Nigga, watch your business. <laughs> I just came from work, man. Yeah, man. I smell my uniform, so, nigga. That's all you smell. I tried to be slick, right? Well, I got the, uh, I bought some roast beef sandwiches home one day. And I didn't want my brother or nobody in my house to eat them. <clears throat> so I took them bitches straight up to my room and left them on my shelf in my room all night. The next morning, got ready for school. Put them roast beef sandwiches in my book bag. Took them shits to school. On a bus while I'm uh, on the way to school, I'm teasing, keep teasing other kids. I'm like, ah, I'm eating them joints on the bus. I'm like, ah, and I'm like, yo, this nigga got whole roast beef sandwiches. Killing them. By maybe about second period, the stomach starts rumbling, and I don't know what the hell's going on. And then I start getting that wet mouth thing. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. yeah. And I, I tell the teacher, I'm like, something's wrong. Because I, <laughs> I never threw up before. I'm like, what is I I can't stop. It's, what's wrong? She told me to go to office. I was on the way to office and I felt that. I was like, oh shh. And I ran straight for the library. Didn't even make it. He chunks right there in the doorway, the whole library for the school, man. Yeah, roast beef was collecting fucking all Yo, types of shit. Like, all all types of bacteria back. and, and all like, types of nasty shit in it, dog. <laughs> Keep it right when you push it. It's in our house. Red meat on the shelf? Where, where, where's, where's the rice? <laughs> <laughs> didn't recook it, didn't microwave it or nothing, dog. Right. Just, Man, uh, this nigga ate that shit right <laughs> now. And, and, and it was seven of them, dog. You ate seven? I ate seven of them. Oh, you deserve, you deserve yeah. this. Yeah, man. You look real alive. Your test is lucky almost the moisture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened to him? He, he right. don't eat on food poisoning. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> to this day, dog, the, the sound of, of roast <laughs> beef. Cause it, I get queasy, dog. You can't even watch an Arby's commercial. Can't I, you? No. They got the meat. I watch it. I watch it until he says, "We <laughs> have the meat." Nope. 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 Yeah, man. Hell no. I'm still let it cow though. <laughs> I eat every other part of the cow. Man. You slice that bitch into a roast beef sandwich. I'm fucking with you. It's like your kryptonite, ain't it? Sure is. 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 So, I want to introduce a new segment, ladies and gentlemen, and, and to the fellas. Um, this segment is going to be called Would You Rather? All right? All right, yeah, here we go. So, basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys two scenarios, and you got to pick which scenario you would rather do. And you can't do that bullshit. I ain't doing neither. You can't do that or, man, I'll just change these rules. Now, you can ask questions about the scenarios, and I'll fill you in on any questions, but you have to pick one of the two. All right? All right. All right. So here we go. We're going to go with the, uh, we'll keep it light. We'll keep it light for the first one. All right. So would you rather ride a motorcycle on the highway doing 100 miles per hour in your drawers, you fall off and you skid 200 feet, or you watch your firstborn have butt sex with your worst enemy. What? <laughs> How is that taking it late? What the hell? The first one? God no. damn! What the? There's the first one. <laughs> Oh, nigga, just give me his permanent scam, nigga. Is that my firstborn? Scam me Yo, up. Yo, firstborn. I gotta watch him? You gotta watch it, dog. Yeah, scam me up. Ooh, firstborn. 
Hundred uh, miles per hour in your drugs. And, my, and, and then when I fall off, am I am I face first or am I on my back? <laughs> I'm gonna be nice and say you're on your side. So oh, my whole side. shoulder. Now you were going hundred miles per hour. You know, you're so sad. basically oh, you're gonna have no a shoulder. Arm. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. gonna yeah. bounce around. Like, you, <laughs> you, hey, you you're gonna be like a pencil eraser when you used it yeah. too far, it's just gonna wear all that shit. Yeah, that'll be the last day I clap then. <laughs> Cause I ain't I ain't doing the other way. <laughs> It's all this from now on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can't do it. My Can't body do goes it. like thing, nigga. From <laughs> <laughs> from the scabs and bubbles. From, that, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> To completely devour it. So, but what you gonna, that, that's 10,000 little bites. But what, you, okay, you're gonna, take, you're gonna take the first one. Right. And what's the caveat that makes you choose that first one? The bitch got 250 million dollars. She a crackhead. You think you're gonna see her again? <laughs> first of all, I'm a catfish. I'm like, where the money at? She's right here. She gonna right. be smoking stone melt. <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? You're not surviving the piranhas and the eel, huh? You are a fucking crocodile Dundee. I, I, I will give it a try. <laughs> Hell, my shoulder already gone. So, <laughs> not for 10 grand. There ain't gonna be a lot of shit. I'd rather have that 10 grand, because once you hit old girl, it's a wrap. She gone, bro. You're not Ooh. spending it. She's gonna be on Amazon buying the world's biggest lighter. <laughs> and pipe. And you're gonna see on 78. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm ready. Bring it in. <laughs> You're just gonna be over here having outbreaks. <laughs> Still working your regular job. <laughs> Wish it. Buy me a whole new penis after that shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I take my chances with the uh, piranha and the eel in wow. three, three hours. Three hours. Yeah, hey, I got endurance and stamina. I just there you go. Sit still and pray, nigga. Hey, <laughs> sit still and hey, pray, bro. We can talk about it while I'm in there. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you make it. You got ten grand to yourself. You, you go to shock. Huh? You go to shock. Literally, I can it. overcome shock. Herpes gonna be with you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna have no dick. You think the niggas is gonna not get your fucking dick? I mean, that's gonna be one. I mean, let's be real. Something I'm gonna protect. <laughs> I'm gonna you be on your hands on this. This hand is gonna be look. fucked up. In now, the back. This knuckles and everything gonna be gone. Niggas, are you really gonna think you'll protect yourself from that shit? Fuck hey, look, I'm up. telling you right now. I'm in the tub like I'm about to take a charge. <laughs> <laughs> 
no hands to spend his money. This nigga, <laughs> hey, this is gonna be elbows up. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, my clean girl better help me spend it. <laughs> Wait, while you know what? While I'm spending, I make sure I buy you some flowers when I go visit you at the hospital. <laughs> You only got ten grand though. So ten grand? There better be some some Publix or some Kroger flowers. Man, you know how many three M band aids I can get with ten grand? <laughs> <laughs> All of them is the correct answer because you go with Neo Spore. <laughs> oh man! I get the big butt. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so we got we got Piranha Bath. <laughs> we got Herbie. Crackhead, Herbie. Crackhead Herbie. <laughs> Mil- billionaire. <laughs> Crackhead Herbie Millionaire. Yeah. Oh All right. <laughs> Yo. Okay, third and finally. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> this one's a rough one. <laughs> is this the, the first or last one? This is the last one. They said it rough like the other Three a week, dog. <laughs> Three a week. That's all I'm, I'm going to hit right. you with. All right. So the third one. And we're going to start off with, ha- would you rather have your nuts... That's where we're going. Have your nuts slowly cut off with a rusty razor blade and then fed to you or or eat 100 hot thumbtacks dipped in COVID spit and HIV blood. What the fuck? <laughs> we got too much time in your hand. Yeah, what? <laughs> we're going to need to get you a hobby, nigga. God, nigga. <laughs> what? Hey, bro. You said a COVID spit and HIV blood? Yeah, nigga. Talk after this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get you some. Stop eating a robot. A hug or something. Goddamn. You said thumbtacks. Okay. Hot cold thumbtacks. Okay. Let's. With COVID and HIV. Nigga, who was preparing this shit, Magic? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you niggas won't believe this shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's killing me just laughing at y'all for oh real, my god. man. Okay, hold on. All right. Would you rather have your nuts? Slowly cut off you, cut off you, with a rusty razor blade, and then fed to you. Or both of them. Okay, that's a <laughs> it, it, <laughs> nuts is plural, dog. Nuts is plural. God damn. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> or you eat 100 hot thumbtacks dipped in COVID spit and HIV blood. Because <laughs> I, I mean, you gotta think about it. Roast beef flavor. Put that on my shit. Because I'm not fucking. Your whole ball, having your balls. Now they could be gently us. seared over the over the stove, or maybe freaking see. No, we got Chef Kenny in the building. I'm sure he can take care of. Ain't cooking no balls. <laughs> 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 That's just get that <laughs> Yo, we'll call we'll call him Rocky Mountain Noise. <laughs> <laughs> you got to serve yourself right here. <laughs> But I got just a stomach full of fucking. <laughs> by the third, fourth tack, you out of here. Your, your fucking throat's fucked up. Your intestines fucked up. Yo. I'm supposed to eat some shit like sunflower seeds. Yo. <laughs> Take them down, though. You got to do one or the other. That's just coming out. When you pooping it out, they ain't coming out, though. And no, it, it, it don't poke everything with COVID, COVID and, and shit, HIV. This shit is staying here. This is, we got a new home. Ooh, that shit yeah, right. This is, <laughs> this is nice in here. Let's make, let's make room. Well, I mean, you know, you got vaccines and you got Truvada for prep. <laughs> so you, you mean that you, you can make niggas you can rock with him? But you still got thumbtacks thumb and what you said? What else? Thumbtacks and what? COVID spit and HIV. They're hot. What you gonna do? Get They're a part time job hanging bitches? <laughs> like, <laughs> when you got gas? Like, what the hell? Don't you do like old time and Jerry cartoons where you just spit them shit into the wall? Damn. Yeah, That's, man. Uh, I'm not going to do it. You want to eat your own nut sack? I'm going to, I don't want HIV. (laughs) 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 Bitch, they make really good dildos. I know a lot of lesbians I can go shop with. I'm going to go lesbian shopping. You're going to be the only brother I know sizzling with a woman. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That's a tough one, man. Like, like. Like, bitch, bring your backpack, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, had a young M.A. starter kid between your legs. <laughs> 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 ain't gonna be no balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck yeah. You gonna be the new Britney girl. <laughs> 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 Let's all right. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's a 
rough one, man. I ain't like, gotta you know, give no disclaimer. Hey, bitch, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that ain't I swallowed a couple times. Is there a chance HIV. that these thumbtacks don't have AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> no, they guarantee you. He said man. HIV filled no. and COVID. Remember what, remember what you used to do with, with uh, bags of microwave popcorn? You had the popcorn and then you dip all your salt and stuff in there and then you shake that shit yeah. up? That's how the tags get down. So it might be like a 2 to 3% chance that you get one without it. But you ain't going to get 100 without it. I'm, I'm thinking about the pain from a rusty ass razor. Cutting your Slowly. When's the last time you had a tetanus shot? <laughs> Cause you're gonna need all that though. You might get a lock jaw, you might have not, not you might that. have rabies on top. <laughs> not only that, you gotta eat your own balls. Yeah. Nigga, that shit don't stop anytime. Yeah, but every story you tell afterwards, like when a girl sees that, she goes, Oh, what happened to you? No. I had to eat my balls. Turn off the lights. You ain't got to see these balls. I can't suck the balls. She said, I can't see them. No way. They go. Just suck this dick. When you get to the balls, hey, 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 bitch. You get, you're getting too personal right now. Uh, the dick don't work without the balls. <laughs> I don't want to hold kids anyway. So, it works right up my alley. I don't want to hold kids anyway. It's perfect for me. You're just walking around with foreskin. Right. This morning. <laughs> dick no balls. Frank and Beans. Paul and Beans. <laughs> What's up, my baby? Frank and oh, Beans. Uh, oh. I don't know how to answer this one. Like, well, you uh, gotta I, pick I mean, one. I, I mean, I don't want AIDS. I don't want to eat thumbtacks. I also don't want to cut my balls off, but I gotta choose one. And eat them. And eat them. How about I died after the second question? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Just kill me, dude. Kill me after the scab. <laughs> no, right? That's it. Damn. This thing got way too much stuff, man. I'm gonna start checking in on your ass. <laughs> Damn, bro. I Yo, guess I have. Wait for next week. No, I can't. I mean, but you make a good point. You know, whatever that medicine you said they have. But... Yeah. I, I see all them commercials. But I, I still got to go back to my regular job after this. <laughs> you don't get no money. Well, yeah, this one ain't got no money. So no money come with that. No money come with that. Had you, you been you like Cliff, you don't got pick, pick the prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> you at least got 250 that you tried to get. Right. <laughs> Ain't no guarantee you got that shit. You don't have, you don't have uh, magic money to get the type of shit, he, medicine he got. Your uh, shit, your shit gonna kill you over all the ass. <laughs> magic got that tall on three. With Cody. Yeah, man. Uh, boy, uh, damn, still on me. <laughs> I guess I'm cutting myself up, bro. Thank you. Uh, uh, wow. Cause I'm uh, trying to swallow the damn tank. And then, Cause that's a double whammy on them. You gotta eat them bad boys. They mm -hmm. have to come out. They gotta work their way through mm -hmm. and then come out. Yeah. They might drop to the same spot if you don't chew. Nah, they ain't gonna come out like corn. They're gonna be chewed up. Hey, nobody said you had to chew them. I'ma swallow my balls whole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come out with this guy. I gotta go I gotta go on my shit and go in there like, oh, there they go right there. Oh, oh. Well, don't. I look a loophole in the system, nigga. Throw my shitty balls on, <laughs> sir. Somebody get my sword, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Throw my shitty balls on. Yo, she got this smell like shit. Why does it smell like shit, bitch? Hey, too close. Come on, no, ass 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 his ass at the sword machine spraying the sand. Right. <laughs> Throw the pattern. I'm gonna yeah. like you checking this shit. Bitch, just do it. Just suck it. You got a zipper on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got Velcro. They put, put my nut sack on the fucking on the nightstand. Don't treat me like, yo, you yeah. putting my one my onesie between your legs. You're like, nah, bitch, that's my nuts. Yeah, be that one night you with your girl, they say you know. Bing, bing. Hey, watch where you stepping. Watch where you stepping. <laughs> she going out with the boys again? Give me the nuts. Give me the balls. Give me the balls. God damn, bitch, oh I will never get to God. live, nigga.
I am done. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's the worst. Would you rather? <laughs> yeah. Would you rather? Oh man. So yeah. So to wrap it up, we got two motorcycle videos. <laughs> we got one millionaire where he. From crackhead. He ain't got that money. <laughs> 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 one nigga with piranha bites. <laughs> and let's shoot it. Let's shoot it. Piranha bites. What do you get? And two, two strombonies. Strong two bulls with no bones. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. What they call it? Unix? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unix like a mug. Wow. That's a rough life to live right there. I don't know. It's a yeah. community. <laughs> Can we get a letter of the Spartan alphabet community? <laughs> <laughs> You get two letters, and you get B L. Right, all list. Hey, B's gonna be mad at the motherfucker. Them hot pants fit a lot different now. Does Clint have a camel toe? Oh my god! Yo, you almost killed me. Oh, you almost killed me. <laughs> Yo, I, 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 I gotta double back to the damn crackhead though. <laughs> you really think a crackhead who wins two hundred fifty million dollars, <laughs> unless you got that bank card in your hand, <laughs> you ain't getting no money. <clears throat> you just get hurt. <laughs> yeah. Nobody said you married to her. Nobody yeah. said that you got a relationship. Nah, you just having sex with her. Yeah, I'm trying to get the money first. First, you trying to get the money first. You yeah. gotta sleep with her. You gotta do How that. How much money do you think she's gonna you, get? You can't just grab the money and run. She's a crackhead, so she been getting, you know, getting laid on her. So you think she's gonna get you money first? You think you'll survive the first four hours? No, we talk about you and this hurt. No, crackhead. I just don't talk about that. That was the alternative. I understand. Eels and piranhas, nigga. Yeah. Angry piranhas. You ain't say this happy go lucky piranhas. Yeah, angry. angry piranhas. You, you ever seen a happy piranha? That's, like, that's, 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 that's the point I'm making. It's no such thing as a happy piranha. So what the fuck? He like he's, swimming about. Oh, he right. Nice. Right. <laughs> he, just up, he just up the ante. Nigga said I'm agitating the piranhas. Like no. You over here poking piranhas? Hey, just float for three just, hours. Just float for three hours. For three hours. Nigga, he basically is and priming them. Hey, I am a survivor, all right? <laughs> he is priming them niggas to put your ass in the slow cooker for, for, for three hours. How many piranhas? You're going to be tender. Ten. Ten? You're going to be tender as hell. And even if they do light his ass up, they're only piranhas, man. They're, they can't eat that much flesh. I'm a big dude, bro. You'd be fucked up. <laughs> I might lose a toe or something. But between that and the motherfucking eels, he's going to have stings. Put tiger stripes all over him and put yeah. the pipe on. Hey, but you yeah. know what? And I'm maybe the, the 100 and... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all the tiger strikes you can give me. All the piranha bites. I got $10,000. <laughs> a big ass bottle of Neo Score. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but I won't have her. This is going like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> hey, Let me hey. tell you a story. <laughs> That's my $10,000, bitch. Give me, give me my 10 bands, bitch. <laughs> You don't look like that bitch that had her face ripped off by the monkey. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be you all over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about my, my vicious piranha bites. Yeah. I'd rather do them, like I said, I'll take the piranha. They're cracking. She done smoked all that. You just walking around. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> just just herpy love, nigga. Yeah. Hey, they got cruises for that, man. Hey, well, Lee, well, maybe. Yeah. Well, you know, well, seriously, though. No. But think about it. If you, if it was to go across seas, to do what? Spread Yo, they the love? All, hey, exactly. They yeah. all get on the boat, and you know who got it. You ain't got to worry about a team going there. If you think about it, though, I mean, if let's say she do run off with the money, right? And you got the hers, right? Ask us, or can you be a backup singer? <laughs> hey, let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know he got it. We already know what happened. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I, oh. I, I fight the piranhas all day. I oh. watch it up on the Nature Channel. I mean. Oh, okay. Huh? In the tub. Think about it. Is this a regular tub? Pretty much. I'm thinking about the regular bathtub. Yeah, like any yeah, yeah, it's not like a spa tub oh, in a hey, hotel. Nigga, okay, well, nigga, to keep you in a fucking tub on them Chinese fucking massage stuff? No, you can't. I'm swimming the piranha. 
You are in a regular bathtub. If I'm in a regular bathtub, okay, let's be real. Let's be completely honest and transparent here. I'm a big guy, right? They ain't got me so much food in the sweat. Good for They flap one time, they out the tub. Ten minutes, I'm in there by myself like, hey, where that money at? <laughs> you know what Carl Malcolm, my clip doing it. He's still sick. <laughs> I got my knuckles, I still got my penis. <laughs> Couple bike bars. We good I'm in good. the hood. Hell yeah. And no Ted Grand Richard. <laughs> yeah. I just know when I come over your house, I gotta use a straw when I'm drinking out the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta used to get my dick through the fucking glasses. Hey, would you let me touch the <laughs> Oh, man. Shoot, I ain't using your chapstick. <laughs> Jigsaw in this oh. equation. You want to know? I want to play the game. No. <laughs> My <laughs> fucking followers. Everybody want to know. <laughs> yeah, right. What the fuck would you do? Yo, man. Hey, when was the last time you <laughs> seen Jigsaw get his ass off that tricycle <laughs> and do the shit that everybody else is doing? No, sir. That's <laughs> get out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> nah, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm supposed to. Oh, number one first. Oh, man. That number um, one was harsh. <laughs> yeah, go number one first. Uh, that's the <laughs> ride the motorcycle at a hundred mm-hmm. and just get two hundred feet in my drawers. Yep. Or, or watch my firstborn have butt sex with my enemy, my worst enemy. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm taking the skid. I'm, I'm definitely taking the skid and hoping for the best. Skid Yeah. Uh, let's see. Skid better than death, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um... <laughs> The 250 million with the crackhead on the eels. I'm gonna have to sign a cliff on this one, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, uh, yo, thank you, yo. I might, <laughs> I might, I might end up with the gift that keeps on giving, though. <laughs> but I'm, I damn sure gonna get more than some 10 grand off this bitch. Exactly. Hey, I, I might not get the 250, but I'm exactly. getting more than 10. <laughs> And that's what it boils down to. I'm holding this bitch up again. We're going to, we're going to ATM, bitch. <laughs> that's what it boils down to. Yo, <laughs> when, we at the, when we at the line of offices, she holding up one side of that check, I'm holding up the other line. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't, be a don't play. Down. We won. Down. Exactly. <laughs> we won. <laughs> Yo, don't even put in her name. She ain't got no bank account. Right. We do, though. <laughs> so, and then nuts slowly cut off with a rusty... God, dog, that's a hard one, dog. Yeah, it is. Um, we can say about the bump tax. <laughs> they, they look appetizing when I think about that pay for that razor, but <sighs> I guess I'm gonna have to go to Unique Route too, man. I'm gonna have to. Uh, nah, wait a minute, 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 because it's rusty. I, I, I still got so it ain't gonna yeah, cut clean. That's go, yeah, that's gonna suck my so right hell. But the eating part, dog. For me, the psychological part about eating my own nuts is gonna be a problem. I better shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as I fuck this shit. <laughs> Soon as they cut it out, eat it. I'm like, what else you got? <laughs> Whatever else you want to do, do it, because oh, it's too late now. Yeah, that that woo. Yeah, that one. When I thought about that one, I didn't think about me trying it, so I just went all out with it. <laughs> Um, oh shit. Yeah, that, ooh. Uh, <laughs> you know what, my my will is to live and survive is, is too strong, man. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to try to, I'm gonna try to have to eat my nuts, man. I'm gonna have to try. crazy, would you What you gonna say next week, okay. You got diabetes, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been real. We're going to wrap this one up because I, I know it's gotten a little long. <laughs> got a little long but, with his bush rattles. I'm about to go home and get in the tub with these piranhas. 
Right, uh, Cliff and Jordan. <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 Tell your girl, say what's up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he get it to me so far. I heard she want to rock with you. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fellas. So I'm going to put everybody's contact information in the description below. King Bears in the building. Comedian CJ Travels. And Kenny the Chef, y'all. And we're going to catch you on the next one. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>